Yo, 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 guys, yo, guys, yo, guys, yo, guys, there's Old Man G here, back again with another match reaction, um, Manchester United 2, Liverpool 2, we're going to get into it, um, so overall, I think a point was a fair result, if I'm honest, um, and so I, sorry I didn't react with Chelsea, to be honest, the Chelsea game, I was busy, but more importantly, I was fuming, I don't think I was really in the state to really um and i'll make a case that i haven't still haven't really recovered from chelsea yet um i very much emotionally detached myself from manchester united after that chelsea game i'll be perfectly honest um so yeah it is what it is um ideas is the stream yes yes in fact let's yeah yeah, yeah. i'll put the if you want people to discuss i open it in i'm just going to give my thoughts first and then i will base and i'll bring people in um to have their say so what i'll do is i'll post a link in the chat um and uh but uh i'm gonna probably have my say for like the first 10 of the minutes and then you can join after that basically so yeah um so i won't bring you guys in right away um but yeah links in chat big up everyone who's watching um on on twitter facebook youtube um twitch uh and kick as well we we are on kick on instagram well based on all social media platforms guys so please head over and subscribe to those if you are new um support the channel like the vid Get those likes up, etc., etc., etc. It means a lot. Big up SSB man. Hope you're doing well, buddy. After that, um, hope you're doing well, man. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, it was a crazy game. It was a crazy game. It was a crazy, 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 crazy game um, of football. Um, where do you start with this? I mean, like. I mean, this is almost like a continuation. Uh, oh, I it's, thank you, Simbi. I put one one. Why have I put one one? It was two two. It was two two. Thanks for that. Let me change that. Let me change that. I don't know why I said one one. It was two two, wasn't it? Sorry, sorry, fellas. I'm going to change that right now. Uh, do, 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 do. But yeah, um, it was incredible. Just how, um, just how these two teams, and much like before, everyone in, in expected that Manchester United, um, you know, were going to basically lose um, and get cooked um, by Liverpool. Manchester United were going to get cooked by Liverpool. Game was over. They're going for the title. Manchester United are are, are going to bother it, and and that's what I think people expected to happen, um, and that didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. How much of that is is Liverpool sort of wasting their chances, not actually being able to really ca uh, capitalize um, on missed opportunities? I mean, that's that that's for Liverpool, really. Um, and as I was saying to some Liverpool fans, you know, I know. Yes, you can say you're the better team. You had chances. You're in a much better position. But at the end of the day, like this is the third time in Old Trafford that Liverpool, who have been fairly comfortable in possession and been able to dominate, have not taken their chances. You have to say that is some that 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 is on Liverpool. That is on Liverpool. That is on the on the players, and potentially that is on Klopp as well. You know, so that is not um, once bitten, twice shy, free. You know, you're on your own effectively. Um, as for Manchester United. Um, I think the frustrating thing for me as a United fan is that clearly this week, Manchester United could actually have nine points. If Manchester United, if the players had composure and were actually able to hold on, and I think that's the biggest thing because I just look at what's going on and I think, okay, hang on a minute. We, we, we don't have the composure to hold on to anything. We... Um, and when we go ahead, we can't see the game out. And a lot of that is because we have no control over games. Some of it is, you know, our leaders, you know, and we're having to rely on young kids and youth to really make a difference. Like the Ganachos, the Mainus, Hoylands, you know, etc. The biggest thing is just our lack of control. We can't control games. You can't see games out. Against Brentford, we played crap, but we got the goal against uh, we got the goal so why can't you see out the game that's two points chelsea 
We 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 played poorly, but we come back and you've got eight minutes. Okay, at very least, if you're gonna drop the point, if you're gonna drop the point, at least, at least see the game out. And then you go and lose. And Liverpool, you know, a you know, a I mean, I I'll, I'll say I'm not, I don't think it was a penalty. I don't think it was a penalty. I think that I think it, I think it actually was a dive. But in, at, but at the end of the day, you give the referee if you're gonna go to ground like that, Wamba Sapa, you give the guy um, a decision. And usually, Wamba Sapa is good when it comes to and like I said, he doesn't actually touch him. But his second leg is there, and it allows the referee to basically make a decision. That's basically what happens. It allows the referee to make a decision, and if you allow the referee to make a decision in the Premier League against Manchester United, who quite frankly, have been um, uh, screwed over this season by refereeing, refereeing decisions. Like the second penalty that, we, that the Chelsea got, that for me, that wasn't a penalty. It wasn't it, it, it wasn't a penalty, you know, so soft touch. But, you know, we've had injuries, we've had penalty decisions, but at the end of the day, with all that said, you still can't, you still have to have that composure. You still have to have the composure. and. I've already given up on top four. I think that's over. I think we're so, so, so far behind Spurs and Villa, who, even though Villa have been dropping points left, right and centre, and Spurs did, you know, had we won all of our games, we probably would be potentially a point behind Villa if, if we won our games in hand. And Villa still have to play um, City, I think Liverpool and Arsenal, for example. So we could have done it. But because we, because we literally, we, we, um, we just don't have the composure to see our games, um, and we we have a we have these Jekyll and Hyde performances. It's 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 crazy. It's it's crazy, and and that, this is just where we are. Um, also, yeah, yeah, we have changed. Yeah, we got lucky. We got lucky today. Uh, fa thanks for saying that, SSB. Thanks for saying that that you got lucky today because I think a lot of you know if Manchester United was more organised, I thought yeah, exactly, exactly. We were, it was chaos ball. Liverpool dominated Manchester United in the first half. Let's keep stuck. Let's keep the stack. Nine shots, I think, on goal. United had zero. And but for um, the Liverpool mistake in the set in the second half, um, you think it's probably going to be a continuation. But Bruno gets that goal. It is what it is. Then, um, fantastic, fantastic goal by Kobe Mayu, and you think, right, okay, we're ahead. We had Liverpool on the ropes. Let's see the game out. And some of this, I must confess, some of this is also due to Ten Hag's tactical um, decision making. I, 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 as you know, Samasi in the back, because it says to Caliban out. So, as you know, Samasi in the back. So, I'll bring you in. Um, I'm assuming some of this is also because of, um, of, of Ten Hag's Ten Hag's substitutions. You know, he's obsession with playing Bruno. Maybe it's Bruno himself every single minute. You know, you take off. Um, uh, you, you. I think he, he took off. Uh, was it? Uh, I think Garnacho. I think it was. Um, and you bring on, and you, sh and you. I'm trying to think, he take. He, I think he took off Garnacho, um, and he brought Mason Mount on. Basically, we played with, and it, it ended up with Bruno being shifted out to the right because Amrabat saw, Am Amrabat came on as well. Just some of the, I don't know, some of the decisions that substitutions that we made. You know, I'm I'm looking at a guy like someone like Ahmad, and for life for me, I just don't understand why Ahmad cannot be given a chance to Manchester United. Yet yeah, I'll, I'll talk about new centre back when we do play ratings. So Kwambwala had a really good game. Um, I, if I'm going to give praise to Ten Hag, it's the fact that at the end of the day, our youth has carried us this season. Kwambwala, um. Kobe Mainu, Garnacho, you know, if you want to count Hall you can in there, Diallo, you know, that's the future of Manchester United, the kids, the youth. Because outside of those players, I genuinely can't think of any, all the other players could be sold. Casemiro was garbage today. Casemiro was garbage. And, Cas and that's, put, for me, one of the main reasons why we concede so many chances and we have no control of the game. Like, Casemiro is slow, he doesn't have legs. You know, Mainu. Maybe he's been asked to go for a forward to count ball, like he's almost in like a Pogba. What we need a quick, D we need we, we need a, we need a quick DM. We need a quick DM to replace Casemiro, and I and I, I didn't think I'd say that, but it is what it is. Um, 
he also was buying season. I think he's got play, maybe not the best one, but yeah, exactly. He's still young. I think he's only 19, I think. Manion should just play, yeah. Exactly. For me, just play the Academy Kids the rest of the season because Champions League football is done. That's 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 my that's my personal opinion. But I'll bring Samassi in pride in a second. So um, but I just want to rack up my final thoughts. But yeah, overall, um, aside from that stupid decision from Wan Wan Basak to go in, even though I don't think it's a penalty, um, he shouldn't have gone down to ground. Sally Grass, it's two two. Um and you really got to think that this is probably advantage Arsenal City. And I did say that this was going to be an Arsenal City um, title race as opposed to Liverpool. Because Liverpool, this conceding um, and being sloppy at some point is going to get punished. Not taking a chance as well like, like, like you did against Brian. At some point, it's going to be punished. And I, think, I don't think United are going to be the only team that's going to punish Liverpool this season. They probably win the Europa League and great Europa League and a Carabao Cup for Klopp when it's last season. That's fine. But Premier League, for me, that's between Arsenal and Manchester City like it was last season. It's between us and we'll see what happens. We'll get a player rating in a second. So I'll get up. But let me just bring in Pride. And I suspect this is a Samasi in the back as well. So give me two seconds. There we go. Yo, guys. Pride. Samasi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Awesome, I can hear you, buddy. I can hear you. So, Pride, so I'm in the Manchester United final. We'll start with you first. What are your overall thoughts on this on, on this performance? I mean, we uh, we we got utterly dominated for the for 85 to 90 percent of the game. You know, mm. for first half, it was like you know, it, it was the same that we saw for the uh, for for the remainder of the season. Uh, it was exact like <clears throat> it was exactly the performance that I expected. Um, I would say the standout players were probably Maguire, Kambwala, and maybe Maynou. But mm. other than that, I mean, it's what I expected. I I watched most of the game, but, you know, uh, the first half especially, it was dire, man. It was like Brentford all over again. Yeah, we, we got utterly dominated. We, we keep conceding so many shots. And it's not just that. It's we don't create enough for Rasmus Hoyland, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That's, and that's a big issue. I'm not sure... I don't know if it's his tactics or if it's the person. I'm leaning more towards the personnel because I've actually like they don't create anything for Hoyland. They actually think, like the wingers. I think it's personnel because to be honest, I, I still I still and I'll say this from our most creative midfielder that we've had is although his legs are completely gone, is Ericsson. Ericsson yeah. to me, there Eric Ericsson when he was fit, Ericsson would um would, would would create and would create well, but unfortunately, Ericsson's legs have gone. But but see, this is this is what I'm saying. This is the issue with our personnel. We don't have anyone who can play this high possession, not high possession, but high pressing, high possession football that Ten Hag wants us to do. Because if you see at Ajax, uh, he had a lot of athletes in his team, and this is one point I saw in another channel that um, it was a brilliant point that was made. We don't have any athletes in this team. The only athlete, and the, see, the reason why he keeps playing Bruno and Rashford is that they may not be the best on the ball, but they run. They run and they're, you know, they are athletes by definition. None of the other players on our team are athletes. You look at Lissandra. I yep. mean, sorry, we have, I would argue that Fred was an athlete and arguably Fred would probably make, I know he's not world-class, but I think he would have made this midfield much better then actually, because I imagine if you had some like Manu and Fred and Bruno in the midfield, as opposed to Casemiro, then suddenly you have you actually have legs and you have someone who can actually crack back, tackle, press, all the rest of it. Not the best player in the world, but I do scratch my head sometimes and wonder why did we let a player who basically was rarely ever injured, who was quick and who was defensively okay, who could potentially play alongside Manu. And let him go, and we were stuck with a player who's now older, injury prone. I, I don't know. But anyway, sorry. Go on. Again, this this ties into the overall structure of this club. Is that we don't like the main the uh, the only way or the main way in which we can succeed is by recruitment. If we don't get our recruitment right, we are not going to succeed. You look at any all of the other uh, clubs that are successful. You look at. The top three in the Premier League: Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal. Even you even look at Real Madrid; they all have athletes in their team and they recruit well. But we don't do any of that. I still don't know what the Casemiro signing was all about. That wasn't a Ten Hag signing, you know. 
and I and I keep harping back to this, and this is one point that none of the other content creators make is that our recruitment has been so poor that when people say that, oh, I can't believe it's gonna take us five, six years to succeed, we need we have ten years of poor recruitment that we need to somehow undo. It's not gonna get fixed in one summer. And people can talk about oh, ten hog out, ten hog in, ten hog, you know, I'm on the fence, whatever it is. You can sack ten hog. I don't care. But as long as you don't get the recruitment right, you don't clear most of these players out, we are going to be in the same position that we've always been in. You yeah. get any manager, you get any manager. People are saying, I want Thiago, they want Thiago Mata. They want Simone Inzaghi. You get, and you get both of them I, in a tag team partnership to manage Manchester United. You're going to be in the same position in the next, in the next 18 months. Why? Because these players are not, are not, um, position to play high possession, high pressing football. They are only suited to play counter-attacking football. You look at the player profiles like Rashford, like Bruno, like Garnacho. I, I don't know about Garnacho, but those two in particular, they are not suited to play high possession, uh, high possession football, trying to break down a low block because they are too erratic. They have zero discipline with them. They only know how to play counter-attacking football. And if that's what we, and if that's why we're keeping this place, then why do we sack Oli? Why do we sack Mourinho? You get any manager in here, they're not going to be able to succeed with these players. They might play well for, well for one season, like we did, like we saw last season, but the next season, we're going to be in the same exact position as we are. And we're seeing the evidence of it in, uh, in this game against Liverpool, in the, in the previous game against Brentford. We saw the mentality, but they don't have, they don't have, a, they don't have any, a shred of winning mentality. That it takes to uh, that it takes to win a Premier League or a Champions League, we can't even we can't even qualify for the Champions League. That that's how bad the squad is. Unless and until we get a clear out in the summer, we clear like eight to nine players. We're not we're, we're not going to be sniffing anywhere near Man City or Liverpool or Arsenal. And if, like even if you look at Arsenal as a case study, they cleared out most of their underperforming stars who are, who are on big wages. They weren't af afraid to like you know cancel the contracts and send them away but we for some reason we seem reluctant to do that to players like bruno to players like rashford who have a lot of influence in the dressing room who are getting paid high wages but they don't have the same effect on the pitch so i feel like any of have a big um big uh, job on their hands and if they don't get this player recruitment right you know we're going to be in the same exact position in the next 18 months be it any manager it doesn't matter who it is we're going to be in the same exact position, yeah. I'm on mute, sorry. I think that's fair. I think that's fair, man. I think that's fair. Uh, big up, uh, at bath time is yours, man. All right, decent results. Super points. Hope you're doing. Hope you're doing well as well, bath time, man. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. I would agree. So at one point, I, I, I think it was just chaos football. I didn't know what the structure was, what was going on, but it is what it is. Um, Samasi, apologies, obviously, for what happened with Bayern, but what did you what did you think about... Um... RDS, that was unnecessary for me. I'm, no, no, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm being, I'm being I'm a gentleman. As, as, you, as you can see, I'm still depressed as hell. What can I say about this game? It was a good game, entertaining game. Not a lot of quality, even from Liverpool, we can say. No, it's Right, Man United breaks Liverpool to their to their uh, quality every time they play them. It's it's hilarious to see, to see. The biggest problem I see with Liverpool is their attack stinks. Mm. Diaz, Nunes, even Mosala, not good enough today. Mm. Nunes, Davizi, that that baby, he is just awful. Awful player on every Liverpool fan who cheers him, he, he still cheers him on, is an idiot. He's not good enough for, uh, for Liverpool. He should be sold. For Man United, the same problems like Alvarez, Ten Hag subs didn't make sense. The tactic makes, makes sense. But the future, I can't. I can't believe it looks better than the future from Bayern right now. <laughs> speak on, speak on, Manny Smasi. Speak on, Manny. You've got to speak on. You've got to speak you on know, Adi, is how I and you have better talent, Adi, than most managers. <laughs> 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 scouts, 
she talked for months, even uh, for months and months, that this player is quality and he actually should start because you have not any other midfielder, even in the England squad. I think he should start from because there is no England, uh, English player who can play like him. That's true. Yeah. There is no. Um, um, Rice is more of an eight. Jude Bellingham is more of an eight. Menu is the actually the M who can save Man United and England if Southgate is not the coward. Yeah, but he is. He I is. think, like by Munich, funnily enough, this summer, if if the um, new Ineos makes everything right, they're going to clear out Harry Maguire. Bruno Fernandes, I will not be fooled by Bruno Fernandes' goals. I will not be fooled. No. We have seen this before. No. Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, even Eriksen. There, there has to be a clear out, just like with Bayern. And this you is, have to right, this, this SMB, this is a conversation. This is, a, And I might bring up on the Hangout later. Yes, this is a conversation. R -E -R -D -S, we know. We know, we know. Yeah, because yeah, Manu yeah. actually also was for England. He was the best player on that pitch against Belgium, I think it was. Yeah, so yeah. he does. If you look at the tactics, how Real Madrid play, it's used very well with Bellingham. Mm -hmm. That's why he is looking so good. He mm -hmm. is quite essentially also a system player. <laughs> He's also a system player. They mm -hmm. play. We have a good play in that uh, diamond position. Mm. That's why he looks. Look it up, people. Look it up. Okay, I will not be put by Jude Bellingham. My, my <laughs> listen, buy a Munich. You have the money. Buy by my new. <laughs> you stay away. <laughs> you stay away. <laughs> you know, you get. We, no, we'll give. We'll, actually, we'll sell you, no, we'll sell you my actually, company. Actually, we have. Oh, actually, we have. So Matthew, he, he's the perfect. He's a perfect image replacement. He is actually the perfect, he's the perfect person for most, you know, I'm going to say it, if what we uh, would ever leave Man City, Manu uh, would be the perfect replacement for him. Like, Manu's oh. 18. When he hits his 20s, when he hits his 20s, he's going to dominate. He's going to dominate the Premier League, let's face it. When he hits Manu his 20s. He's See, he, he, he'll only dominate if we have a competent midfield. If we still have Casemiro oh and God. Bruno it was sitting with this guy, he's not going to do anything, trust me. You, you, need, a, you need a number eight who compliments him. Number eight, maybe, maybe I, another six I or a, defens a defensive six. I, I think... Will. So, so I only wish that if I can just only imagine if Paul Pogba was playing, if Pete, oh Paul my Pogba god, you know, I, I don't get it, this. I don't get it. You buy all the you have all the DMs right now, and Pogba is not uh, yeah. not at Man United. Or the no, team. but I see if if he was paired up with someone like a Michael Carrick, if if Michael Carrick could yeah. still play, yeah. that yeah. would be a different yeah. midfield, so like not Paul Pogba. If, no, no. Yeah. I'm saying, if, I'm saying, if you, if you had, if you, I'm just saying, in the midfield, if you had some like Carrick, Manu, and Pogba, oh that, yeah, that, that mid, that yeah. that, that yeah. midfield three. Forget Actually, about uh, then it would be. Sorry, yeah, go on. Uh, like, just like Bayern, our midfield was carried before he uh, got the virus by 19 year old Pablo, which he's actually very good in his role and he's uh, good at standards mm. also. So, mm. uh, uh, just like. The only hope Bayern and Man United have is to feature talent, which is very sad to say for Bayern. <laughs> right now. Oh my God! Chainsaw, chainsaw, wash your mouth out with soap. I know. I, I, oh long my. time no see, chainsaw. Good to see you oh back. But like, yes, look, look. I know. It was great, it was great, it was great moments. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just. I'm not, <laughs> just let me let me let me say something, chainsaw. Chainsaw is that last time I checked, you 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 were bigging up, you were bigging up Nunes, man. 
you 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 were bigging up Nunes, man. You were bringing up Nunes and Gakpo. Where were no, they? Now, RDS, RDS, we know what this is. We saw from every Liverpool fan what how they reacted when Mane got picked ahead of Harvey Elliott. We know what it is. They're just salty. That's all. Gakpo, G- Gakpo was uh, Gakpo was getting cooked by Onana. That was that was funny to see. I'm sorry. So that cooked it. anyway. Let's quickly go to the player rating. So, big up the United stand. Uh, so, I'll quickly share this. Uh, oh, don't even get me, Matt. Don't even get me started on that channel. Fuck me. Oh, right. No, 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 no. no. I, but what I do like, I do, I do like the, uh, I do like to use uh, the player rating interface. I actually do think it's quite nice. So, oh, yeah. Guys, that's, that's quite good. Yeah. Guys in the chat, uh, let me know your thoughts as well. So, let's quickly start. Um, so, Onana today. Um, uh, six, yeah, six, six. He, he, may, he, may he, should say. Yeah. he should have. He, he should have. He should have saved the first goal. I don't like. For me, as a goalkeeper, if you get your palm onto it, you have to say, like. You would do bad. Like it's a bad save if you got your palm onto it and it still went inside goal. You know, if it's fingertips, it's fine. It's understandable. But if you got your palm onto it and it still went in, that's bad. Yeah. I think I, I, I am liking that Onana. I think I think he has improved over the last couple of months. And yes, okay, maybe you could save one but but I also have to take that into the context of the fact of the amount of shots that we seem to concede concede. You know, it's like, you know, if if any other keeper in the league had the amount of shots that we conceded in the league, I think they'd be making mistakes as well. Oh, hundred percent. As well, you know. So yeah, I can just can't can you imagine someone like Ederson trying to face those many shots? Yeah, exactly. No way they can <laughs> cheat. No way. So it's like, so no. I know people criticize, oh, he's made a mistake. But it's like, we also got to think like, yeah, but how many shots are, is, is, are, are, are being conceded on our goal? Because we can't control a game, you know? So, but yeah, I think six is, I think six is, uh, no, what's this? Um, Nuno 70 goals and things says, I'm eating. In good, okay. Relax, 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 chainsaw. Relax, relax, chainsaw. You said that he was going to cook Manchester and drop a hattie, and that didn't happen. Anyway, um, He's moving on. Uh, Dallo, uh, we'll go on the panel actually. Samasa, what do you what, what would you rate Dallo's? He was um, very erratic in the first half, I would say, but mm. he was better after the break, so mm. I would say a six, maybe it's closer. Maybe seven, but a six or awesome. yes, yes. I like overall. I like Dalo as a player. I have to say, I like him. Yeah, he's like the only player that I'm. I would keep out of mm. all of the previous, like out of all of the other signings that mm. are not Ten Hag. He's the only him. Yeah, he's like the, yeah. He's the actually the only player that I would keep. Mm. Um, because I think he's technically good enough, and he. I think he has the awareness of how to play as a modern fullback. When to defend, when to attack, how to cut off the passing lanes, how to. I think he's actually also developed a lot of his 1v1 defending. I think mm-hmm. um, when he went on loan, do you remember when he went on loan to Milan? Because yeah. um, I saw some of his gameplay then, and he had to do a lot of 1v1 defending. And I think he improved his, he improved his overall awareness um, with that regard as well. So he's one of the only players that I would keep um, mm-hmm. and not sell. If we were to ever bring in new fullbacks, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Big up Chainsaw for the super chat, by the way. So big up RS has been some time. Yeah, it has been some time, man. Thank you so much for um thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for the donation. Uh really, really appreciate it, buddy. So and we need we definitely need to do some content on the second channel soon. So I've got a bit more free time coming up soon. Are you coming along your hands up? Possibly, possibly, possibly we'll see. Um, you did say this actually, to be fair to Chainsaw. He did call Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich's decline earlier on. I do remember you calling the decline. So, so yeah, it is, it is, it is what it is. Um, and Fabrizio, I'm not Fabrizio. I'm not reading that comment out. I'm not reading that comment out. I can't read that comment out. Um, uh, Harry Maguire. Now you talk when prior. So I was going to you. You talk about players being sold and stuff like that. And I know I think Maguire is likely to go. But in defense of Maguire this season, I think given the amount of injuries you have at centre back, he's actually been okay. Yeah, he's. See, thing is, for uh, according to like, if it was up to me, uh, if I had to rate two defenders this season, I would put him and Johnny Evans, mainly through availability. But he has actually put in some good performances as well. But my overall gripe with him is that he's still not suited 
to play a high line, uh, defend on the halfway line. Um, what and I don't think his one v one defending is that good anyway. And if you if you want to play the high pressing, high possession football that Ten Hag likes to play, you need mm-hmm. to have defenders who will be able to defend on the halfway line, who will be able to run the channels, and who will be able to defend one v one. I don't think he is that, but mm-hmm. I I say that you know for what he's been the uh, ha- he, what he's had to deal with this season, he's done incredibly well and. All I hope is that if we get if we get to sell this guy, we get some good money for him. You know, we yeah, keep as much of the eighty mil that we spent on this guy. A West, a West, a, I think it'd be a good West Ham sign to be honest. Like something like 40. oh, hundred percent, yeah, a, a West Ham or an Everton, they, he'd be a good signing for them. The thing, the only problem is that his play style doesn't suit ours or what we want to do. Yeah, yeah. So, so what do you what would you give him today? I'd say I'd give him like a six point five or a seven. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what people seem to seem to do as well. Yeah. Now this kid, now this kid, I've got to speak about about big about Kambuala, about Willy Man. This kid, I think has ha, definitely has potential. Definitely, I think he had a solid game today. Yeah, um, he was good. Mm, given that he's he was, he, his fifth choice is big, like I I, I think because we're thinking about you know buying because of that, and I and I think to be honest, you probably need to get rid of Varan Maguire. You know, I'm even looking at. Martinez funny because it's like what's the point really um we bought him and I think Martinez is good but if he's gonna be this injury prone you know you know you, you yeah know, we can't let you know there's no way in the summer that we're gonna we're gonna sell three center backs you know so we yeah can't, we can't so we can I think we can keep him for another season see how it is if he's mm-hmm. another if he's another martial then you know he might have to be on the yeah. uh he might have to walk the plank in like a year's time yeah but the emergence of of of, of Kambuala, i think is is, is 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 very good and i think that if to be honest i would say like because the others evans that all those are, are, are quite unreliable i would to be honest keep this partnership mcguire and um Kambuala for the rest of the season because the his, his name is big willie his name is big willie Jesus, <laughs> I would give him. I, I put, actually, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm glad he was seven or an eight because for me he was because oh, as much as I like Menu, I I also think that like um, obviously the control mental was a problem in the game. Whereas I think that he and Maguire were steady. So you know, actually, no, I'll give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. Um, now Wamba Sack on the other hand, um, Samasi. Um, I mean, you could argue he cost us. Potentially both of those goals. Four, of ten. Four, four. Um, four. He cost. Yeah, he cost us the win against Liverpool. Mm. Your biggest rival. Yeah. Four out of ten. Four. Man, and when I saw that first, I was like, "That is one of the most stupidest challenges I've ever seen. Yeah. Slide tackling in the box, man. Who does that? I don't like. I don't know who does that. See, I've seen, I've seen Cruyff turns inside the box. I've seen um, roulettes inside the box. I've never seen that much of a stupid slide tackle. And I know that you're going to say um, that, you know, it wasn't a penalty. Yeah, I can see that from another angle. But still, mm. the decision to slide tackle inside the box, that's yeah, something yeah. I, I cannot forgive him, you know? Yeah, yeah. He can't, you can't make the referee make that decision. That's the problem. So even though I don't yeah. think he does, you still can't, you still can't give the referee the decision to make. That's the key thing. You cannot allow them to make that decision. So, so, but it is what it, it is. What it is. Yeah, it costs us the game. Casemiro, um, three, three, easy three. Um, three worst game, worst game, worst game I've ever seen up from this guy. Bad. I think he the Brazilians seem to when they get to the 30s seem to go 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 beneath him and just, just yeah just and you know what you know what when Jim Radcliffe came in first right there was this um news article about him quoting why is Casemiro like why did you guys buy Casemiro and I remember that every United fan that time was going oh he doesn't know what he's talking about he's an idiot of course yeah. Casemiro is a good signing now yeah. look how he's doing yeah, it yeah. was a bad buy from the beginning. Short term, good buy. Long term, not not great. You don't buy Casemiro if you mm. wanna if, for a five year project. You know, you mm. buy him if you wanna win the league that year or if you wanna mm. win the Champions League that year. You don't buy him for the expectation that it's a long term signing. 
Mm-hmm. And now you're seeing why it was stupid to blow 60 million. Or, oh, yeah. How much did we pay for him? 60, 70 mil? We could have bought mil. a good. Yeah, 60, we could have bought a 60 yeah. mil, man. Real Madrid just fleeced us. On 300k a week or something like that as well. Think of them at the Yeah. Wait. We could have bought two good DMs for that mm. money. And right. instead, we chose to. Bl- Real Madrid fleeced us, man. I, like, no. I don't care. It was a heist. No. No, 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 absolutely. I don't, I don't, I don't disagree that. Yeah, he's, 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 he's Saudi bound, probably. He's Saudi bound. He's Saudi bound. He probably play with. Yeah, him. sell him to Saudi, get some money 20, 30 mil. I don't care how much it is. Kobe, I mean, for that goal alone, I'm giving him an eight. I mean, for that goal alone, I'm giving him an eight. You know, so I, I, don't, I don't actually think this is this. Was a game. So, so it's Massey. Oh, give him a 10. Give him a 10. I can't give him. I can't. I can't. I can't give. I can't give him a complete to ten. But he. He definitely is definitely close to being a match because this kid is is still incredibly young. I don't, he's not twenty yet, and the the fact that he just looks so. I'm going to ignore Chainsaw's poor comment in, in in the chat because I mean the guy. He basically made your defenders look like he 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 made them look amateurish with that goal. He sat down so many of Liverpool's defenders and made them look amateurish for that for that goal. To be honest, so. Um, but you know, he like I, I can only imagine if 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 he hadn't got injured in preseason. I'm not saying he would be better, but I do think that had he started the season with Manchester and 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 we had him in the midfield, you know, I I think because he wasn't available at all during the Champions League campaign, he wasn't. He wasn't actually, 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 he, actually, he was. He was. He played the last two games. He was, was there for Gal. He was he was there for Galatasaray and against Bayern Munich at home. Bayern Munich, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Did, but he but did he start both of them? I, can't I think start. he he started the he started the Galatasaray game because I remember him and Amrabat played in midfield. Um, I don't know about the Bayern game because I didn't even watch it. Um, but yeah, I know he started the Galatasaray game. Saying so, I watched the goal back, and all I saw was Liverpool defenders getting, getting, getting cooked, and the ball back in the net. That's what I saw. That's what I did. Saw. He say, did, did he say Klopp's reaction? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw, I saw it being. I saw, I saw Liverpool fans getting cooked, and Klopp fuming. Klopp, Klopp, Klopp lost his head, man. Klopp lost his head. <laughs> Klopp lost his head. Klopp lost his head. Big up Zay, man. Liverpool have lost thirty EPLs. Uh, in the last uh, is that EPL games in the last three seasons? United have twelve. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just whatever I say about 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 I'm bantering. Um, uh, changes that United are far, 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 far away from um, Liverpool. Um, oh yeah, the of Liverpool is you know are is who's going to manage them next season? Are they going to have the same impact? Let's quickly finish the player ratings. Um, back to Samasi, Bruno Fernandez. Oh God, I hate him. Oh my god, what have no, you do. But he scored the goal, so I give him a six. Wow, okay. that's generous. I would have given him a three. I like this, yeah. His 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 over like apart from that goal, his overall play was just garbage. It was mm. trash. It's mm. one of the worst performances I've ever seen from an attacking midfielder. Man can't even make a five yard pass, man. And I don't mm. know if he if he's tired or if that's just his form right now. But mm. Adios, let me let me tell you this, right? This guy and Rashford is gonna be our Bami Ozil. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The, yeah. The, 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 the sooner you get rid of these two, the sooner mm. we'll be back at the top. Trust me. Because these guys cannot play mm. the football that we want to play. And these two have so much influence in the dressing room, it is crazy. Mm. Mm. Like you see no. how they start if you see how they start every game, right? Mm. 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 So, yeah. No, no, no. I don't. I, I. I don't disagree with that at all. It's just whether or not the the ownership, the clubs, etc., are going to be. That's what I don't know what the direction of the club is going to be. I don't. We don't know who's. We don't know whether you know. Um, uh, Ten Hag is still going to be here. This is. We don't know. Yeah, going to be. That's so, what I don't. We don't know. Um, but you know, if rumors are true that, that for example, someone like, um, uh, if if uh, someone like. The rumors are true, and something like Southgate is is coming in. Oh no, please don't. Um, you know, then, you know, and, and this and this is the thing, you know. So it's just like, 
I don't um, think I, I don't I don't think that rumor is true. Like even though it's it, see, it's I think it's more of a they they're, they're they're trying to do one plus one equals a thousand basically. So it's mm-hmm. like oh, Ashworth is good friends with Southgate. Ergo, mm-hmm. Southgate uh, Southgate is in conversation for the United job. It's that's mm-hmm. basically what it is, you know. And I think I Graham Potter is the same thing because I, I don't think in I don't think in good conscience someone like Omar Barada who worked at City can yeah. ever recommend Gag Southgate for this job. Yeah. I don't care yeah. what Ashworth is. Uh, yeah. I I know for certain that Omar Barada cannot think yeah. someone like Southgate is perfect for this job. Yeah, yeah. I I I I I can't I can't I can't I can't believe that I can't believe that. But you know you you never. The thing is, I never see him in football anymore, and and I yeah. still don't know enough about of any of yet to know that, that they'll make the competent decisions. I, and I want to see. I want to wait and see first. Is basically, basically but I agree, I don't disagree. You know, that. it's it's crazy. You know, we all laughed at Arsenal with their project. You mm. know, we all laughed mm. at them with Ateta. Mm. And look at them now. Yeah. You know, Bayern and Man United have to learn their lesson now. Mm. That that yeah, it had to take see, time the, with the, the thing right with, manager. Yeah, the thing with Arsenal is that they had a they they did some good things that none of the uh, like clubs like Bayern and United didn't do is that they showed patience with their manager and I didn't think that he was good enough because I saw some of the results but you know evidently I was wrong but what the what they did was that they showed patience they stuck with the manager they gave him time they gave him the resources necessary to do that job and that's the that's the um but they also but they also but they also bought they also bought sensibly and more importantly they they also bought at the right timing if you actually look at the last couple of years arsenal actually used the january and summer transfer windows quite well united have never i can't remember the last time united actually used a january transfer window like like well i think like, i think it was in 20 2020 when we bought bruno fernandez but bruno other fernandez. than that other than that, like we haven't you we haven't utilized the January transfer window that well. And part like most of it most of it is because our finances are not that great. But like if 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 you could take a lesson, a couple of lessons from what Arsenal did, is that you have to you have to stick with the manager and you have to show like you have to back him ahead of all these players. Because the one thing that's gonna cripple you is player power. Yeah. And the sooner you eradicate player power, like if you saw at Arsenal. They eradicated player power by get, getting rid of toxic people, toxic players like Aubameyang, Ozil, Socrates, um, Granit Xhaka, uh, uh, the season. So the sooner you get you back the manager and get rid of players like this, the, the faster yeah. you'll be back yeah. on the top. Yeah, I don't disagree there. <laughs> big, up, big Up Change has been a member for 20 some months. Thank you so much. And I appreciate your ongoing support. And if you want to support the channel, I know the content has been quite quiet on the channel recently. And I apologize. I've just been busy with work, relationships, all the rest of it. So, but like I said, when I have the free time, I will post and try and upload. Um, and make sure, Anna, I appreciate the ongoing support. Make sure you check out the socials, links in the description. Um, aren't you as they are? Um, Arias, would you say the performance of the United States is covered up with Salah Nunes missing all the, those those chances? No, no, I don't think anyone here is saying the United States perform perform well. I'm not saying Manchester United perform well. Like, like given that, that's why we're we're still rating a couple of the United players less than six. Look know, at so. yeah, look at that. Look, yeah, look at the player ratings. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can you name three players that have scored above yeah. an eight? Yeah, like I think you know, aside from like <clears throat> mainly seven, four, four, four. Uh, sorry, eight. You know, so then eight. You know, Maguire. Yeah, even, even, yeah but even with the players like Camboala, we are kind of inflating his score just because yeah. he's young. He's young if he, exactly. if he, yeah, if he was like twenty six or twenty seven, we'd probably rate him a six or a seven, right? Exactly. If it was, if he was young, then it wasn't. It would be, but you know, you're, I'm always going to rate academy products, especially if this is their first property. Because I've been people yeah, get this is Mainu's first season. This is Camboala's yeah. first season. You know, this isn't like their. They're like we're we're discussing with discussing Maine like he's a veteran and it's like this is his first season. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, of course I'm gonna obviously pick him up and note some more than say a Bruno who has been here for multiple seasons and has gotten worse. Ganacho, I don't think Ganacho had that his best game today, but he tried. Um I'll give Ganacho a six, I think. You know, so I think that's fair, yeah. you know. So, to be honest, like 
you know, against Chelsea, he got a brace, and you know, he 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 he, he should be the reason why we should be have more points. Um, why is Rashford? Rashford didn't play. Did Rashford play? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that tells why you everything. Rashford, did Rashford play? Jeez, yeah, Rashford, yeah. Rashford didn't play, man. Oh wow. Just, I was just, thinking, like, yeah. Why is Rashford here? Didn't get, wasn't Rashford in Rashford, but Rashford did play. Just um, give him a four, man. Just give him a four. Better than Chelsea, I think, in the first half. But, um, you know. I mean, still, his overall play is still poor. He's still trash. The sooner, yeah, as I said, I, I'll keep saying this, man. The sooner you get rid of him, mm. the sooner we'll become better. Send him to PSG, man. I'm hearing PSG offers and Bappe goes. If, if PSG want, if PSG want to pay, for me, if PSG want to play 50 mil for him, um, you know who, you know who's the perfect replacement for him. You sell him, and you get Rodrigo from Real Madrid. We won't get Rodrigo there. No, I'm no, that's what I'm saying. He's a Rodrigo is a perfect replacement yeah. for this guy because he actually knows how to play. He he's very technical, and he has, mm. his preferred position is on the left wing. He's getting stuck out at right wing because of Vinicius Junior. Mm. But you get Rodrigo, he's the perfect replacement. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hoyland again, staff the service. I'll give him a five. It's not his fault, but I mean. You know, it's the graveyard shift. Ronaldo was there, Cavani was there, Lukaku, that I keep on saying was there. I know people are like, oh, Lukaku, I was like, to be honest, Lukaku did what he could with the scraps that he got. I know people don't want to hear that, but considering he scored, I think he, in one season he scored 20 plus goals, he was fed with scraps, and that hasn't changed, you know. So, this is the unfortunate thing of the strike of Manchester United. Unless you get creative players, it's 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 not going to change. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just and then and then who we are, uh, Anthony. When he came on, to be fair to Anthony, I think Anthony's gotten better. I still think he's 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 still far. Considering what how much we paid, he's still not what I wanted him to be. Um, Oh yeah, I think he put it. I think he put a shift in defensively as well. I think he yeah, was yeah. Uh, his defensive positioning was good. Well, this is the thing. This is the difference between him and Sancho. Like, I think Sancho is obviously technically better than Anthony. The problem with Sancho, in my opinion, is that Sancho defensively doesn't 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 work hard enough. Um, yeah, and, and you know what? I I think I think that's another reason why Ahmad is not playing because I know you talked about it um, mm. in your intro. But I think another reason why Ahmad is not playing is he doesn't have the defensive awareness to play on that wing. So oh, I think I he's more know. of a. I don't know. No, I, think, I, I, think, I think I think I think he's more of a central player. So if he if I had to liken him to a player, not necessarily because uh, due to his technical ability, but what kind of profile he is, he is mm. he. You can compare him to a Bernardo Silva, where mm. he can play on the wing, but he's more effective centrally. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. So, I, I just, I, I just still think they should be, they should be at least be given some minutes and this opportunity to develop and to, and to, because you're only going to get better and do way if you put game time to develop, etc. And Anthony has been crap a lot of the season, but he's now been getting a few runner games and is now starting to improve a bit more and, and hopefully has put past the whole saga of what happened behind the scenes, you know. With yeah. Ahmad, at the end of the day, if you weren't going to use him, you know, so you kept him here and he's played a grand total of how many games? He wanted to go out on loan in January. You kept him into you needed him and you not played him. Like, I never understand this sometimes where it's just where you you keep these players and to do what? How do you think he's going to develop playing zero games, being on the bench, whatever? I don't know. I mean, but... see, I mean, see, the thing is, these kind of conversations happen only when we're losing. If we if we if we were winning, like you know, we'd never care about Ahmad. If he's sitting on the bench, fine, doesn't matter. It was still winning. Well, I, but... think, I think I think that I think the Liverpool performance when he came on, I think a lot of people were like, okay, like give this guy give this guy some time because the fact that you were defensively astute enough, um, and it was because of your defensive awareness that got us that won the ball back for us to score the equaliser, and then to score the fourth goal. I was like, come on, this guy surely must at least deserve some minutes. At yeah, least. again, again, in, even in that game, he was playing centrally. He wasn't playing out wide. Mm, mm. No. So yeah. Um, what's next? Uh, just uh, following. 
so yeah, like Anthony is going to see a six. Amabat, um, who's, we're not buying him anyway, so five. Mason Mount cameo. I mean, I'm still. He's obviously been injured, and he's in, but I, I still don't really know um, what Mason Mount's purpose in this team is. Unless it's supposed to be a. I'd actually, I'd, to be honest, I would, I would replace Mason Mount with Bruno. <laughs> I would, I would, I would put Mason with Bruno and with Bruno's position if they're going to do that. Yeah. I don't really know unless we're trying to um, ease him back in. I don't really know what Mount's purpose is because you can't play Mount and Bruno together at all. Yeah. So I think we, I think we have to wait for next season um, to see what his true role is. I, I, I don't even know why we bought him still because yeah, me not, neither. He's not, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not a defensive midfielder. He's not a cam. You know, like if any. I see. If if, if, if if you had to ask, I'd say he's. Yeah, Ten Hag bought him to play as an eight because if you see how he sets his team up, he always has a sitting six with mm -hmm. two number eights. So I think yeah. Bruno was to play on the left hand side and Mount was to play on the right hand side. But obviously, yeah. you can see clearly that that. <laughs> Setup doesn't work, so it didn't work. It didn't work. So, I mean, it came on, he did his thing. Um, it was okay. Ten Hag, uh, let's give you let's give you an average six, man. Um, so at the end of the day, um, we didn't lose the game. Um, but you know, again, do I make it the case that the substitutions because you know, when they work, they work great, but. The last couple of games, you made this. You made substitutions in all games. Brentford, Brent, in Brentford, it worked because Mount scored the goal. But the other and two, I, games, yeah, that's true. You know what? What the other two games, it, we, 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 we can see it, and we, we, we drop points. You know, so see, see the thing is, with even though I say that Ten Hag is not the issue, he still is an issue because. Yeah. Like even though I keep saying that the personnel needs to be cleared out first, you know this, this, and that. Tainag is still an issue, is that he's not learning from his mistakes. Like, I, I saw a compilation on YouTube like, the other day um, where we conceded more than 50 goals from cutbacks. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think you can find that compilation as well. And no, no, no. I've, I've, I've seen them and I'm like, and I'm like, I don't understand why this isn't, this isn't coached. Yeah. You know? And like, you see, even if, it, even if we were running a football club, right, mm. if we saw that compilation, we'd go straight on the WhatsApp chat and yeah. we'd be like, yo, have you, have you taken a look at this? You know, we need to get this shit resolved right now. Yeah. And he doesn't seem to want to do that. So I don't know what's going on there. I still don't understand what, what's with the setup. We are pressing as a six high up, but we are dropping our defensive line way back. So there's exactly. literally a... Exactly. A massive gap. There, yeah. There's a massive gap. And yeah. any competent goalkeeper who knows how to chip the ball, they can literally chip it to a forward player so mm. easily. And they'll yeah. have acres of possession, uh, acres of space to mm. get probably two, three touches in and compose. Mm. So mm. it's just, it's just, yeah, there's a lot of issues with him as well. And mm. I'm saying that, see, that's what I'm saying. I don't really mind if you get rid of him because there's a lot of issues with him as well. But mm. what I'm saying is, it's not going to get fixed if you just get rid of them. No, no, I don't. I don't disagree. With that. I don't disagree. With that. I don't disagree. With that. Disagree. Um, last couple of comments. Um, just to see this reading out. As I said, people forget Arsenal was once a post past couple, post couple of years where they were 15, 16 year, ten games of the season. They really were patient with the project. Yeah, and that's absolutely that's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Um, exactly, and I assume that he's a um, Liverpool fan, right? Uh, but yeah, he is, he is, he is. Yeah, so like, even if you look at with Klopp, they were patient with him for a, a, a couple of seasons until he got his players. Mm. Uh, you can see the most shots and go of any team, groups, and that doesn't surprise me, and that doesn't surprise me one bit. It doesn't, I think, me. we I think we've considered more shots than City and Arsenal combined. Yeah, doesn't surprise me, but, but this, this is what I'm saying. This is why I'm saying that when people get on Onana's back, I'm like. Listen, if you're conceding that many shots, at some point he's going to make it. Any goalkeeper, when their ball is peppered, is going to make a mistake or not save a shot. If you're conceding yeah, that it, many chances, like that's just the, like there is no. It's statistically you know, impossible. 
absolutely impossible not to not not to do not to do that. You know, so there has to be an element where you aren't conceding shots. You know, you know, but it is what it is. You know, so. Um, but anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Remember, and obviously, Pry, thank you, comments for coming on. We will be. I, I, I will probably be doing a United Forum um, ch ch uh, probably on Monday, I think, yes, yeah, so and tomorrow, a likelihood. I haven't confirmed it yet, but if I'm going to do it, it will be basically to preview the Champions League games. Um, we'll obviously be doing a, a, a Brentford, um, not Brentford, is it Bournemouth, Frank, we're playing weekend reaction as well. Um, RDS, and, RDS, you yeah. should do a Wrestle, WrestleMania watch along. I, I, I'm honest, I've never been into wrestling. No, I've never been into wrestling. I just, I just, I was a little bit when I was a kid. Even when I was a kid, I was kind of like, uh, and even now, I'm just like, uh, like wrestling, I feel stuff like that. <laughs> I, just, I just, it's just, it's just not, it's not been for me, you know. So, boxing has been, is, is more my thing, you know. So, um, but it is what it is, what it is, you know. So, I'm sure people will enjoy it. Fair play for you. Um, big up to you, yeah. Thank you, Chainsaw, for your support as well. Um, Catch us on uh, on Twitch. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, Twitter, United and X. Make sure you follow us on the on the like links below: TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Kick, etc., etc., etc. Have a nice day, everyone, um, and cheers. Peace, peace, peace.